Let's make some porky piccata ish. Cook it in the Cuisinart tonight. Medium high heat, olive oil, cover the bottom of the pan. Quarter stick of butter. I've got three boneless pork chops. I trimmed the fat calf off and I pounded them out thin. All I did was dredge them in seasoned flour. These are not going to take long, just a couple, three minutes each side. You hear that nice little sizzle? If they start going too hardcore and your oil starts getting too dark, you got your heat up too high. I'm right at about medium. Right? So I'm going to flip them. There we go. We're going to pull them out. Got a handful of diced sun-dried tomatoes. One finely diced shallot. The juice of a lemon. That lemon juice will help clean off the bottom of your pan. Get up all the little tasty bits. Right, that's been going for just a minute or two. I'm gonna hit it with some heavy whipping cream. Do I have any kind of plan or recipe for this sauce? No. It just sounded good in my head. I got it all the way down on a simmer. Throw a little salt in, some pepper. Wanted to put in red pepper flakes, but I can't find mine. Okay, I'm going back into the sauce with the pork chops. I kind of smush them around and flip them so it's coated with this sauce. Okay, leave that for just like not even five minutes. In the meantime, let's hydrate. Cheers. Some of y'all are saying the most out of pocket sh in the comments. You can pork my pig. Do you have an OnlyPans? What's under that apron? But listen, I do have feet pics available you can get your very own. Okay, these are good to go. I'm gonna pull them out. I'll know I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm already thinking we're missing cheese. I got some Parmesan here. To the gentleman who commented and said that it looks like I know my way around a beef tip, sir, this took like 15 minutes and you could put it with some pasta. I'm gonna serve it with that leftover corn mock shoe from the other night. Holy f These are going in the cookbook for sure. Y'all hey, come on, fix you a plate.